why I stopped playing Final Fantasy 14. Here we go. Every MMO runs out of content. Right, right. And that is the argument they make a lot, the players. Listen, I love FFX IV. I had a blast. Raids were super fun. I love the character developments. But I feel like at the end, I've run out of things to do. And yes, every MMO, you run out of things to do. But at least while you still have like uh, Mythic Pluses and PVPs where I could spam and have fun, try to crush the ratings, of course. Um, FF just didn't have that for me. I loved the game and I was on it all day long. But I couldn't find something to do. I don't like this like fixation that like Final Fantasy players have about people that move away from playing the game after they do the content they want to do. Like I this is like the fifth video that I've seen that was like kind of on this topic. It, it's like I, I don't understand because like there's people that like play the game all the time. It's unhealthy. Yeah, it's weird. And, and like WoW players have this same thing too. It's like whenever you stop playing World of Warcraft, like you're seen as like a betrayer. Like you remember whenever Preach, like I mean this is we're gonna watch the Preach video today too, right? So like whenever Preach went and he was doing the uh, the interviews at uh, BlizzCon and everything or Blizzard and everything, like everybody was furious at him. They're like he betrayed us and now he's coming back. It's like as if this is some sort of like a fucking cult or something where like you have to pledge your loyalty to a game that's not. Yeah, they're like betrayed. What is this? What do you think he is? Illidan? Get the fuck out of here. That makes sense. It's a content creator thing. Like I got uh, right with MMOs. I don't think it's for content creators at all. I think that for a lot of players, they play the game, they do the content they want to do, they reach a plateau on that content, maybe they goof around a little bit, and then they go do something else. I think that's fine. Something to do, if that makes sense. Like, I, I, I kept logging on, right? I kept logging on, I already had Crystal, we cleared DSR, we did everything possible. I logged on and all I really did was stand in front of the house and just stand. <laughs> and that's like 90% of the player, dude. Yeah. Like my neighbor, they log in, slash, what is that thing where you like go against the wall? They did the slash thingy. Leaning against the wall. And they just sit there. They're like statues. Until somebody walks them and talks and then they start talking, right? I was becoming a statue too, so I was like, dude, I can't play this anymore. I need like fun stuff. So I went to play Lost Ark and Lost Ark was a blast. It's a good game. Uh AFK and Dallas, ninety percent of the privacy. Yeah, it's kinda like that, I guess. Well, I mean he's AFKing right now. I, I, I just, yeah, I mean, the thing is, like, again, you've got to contextualize, like, I mean, he did the Dragon Song reprise, like, this requires, like, probably 100 hours of, of prog, so, yeah, no shit, he's going to be burned out and tired of the game, he played it a lot. Flash Lean, listen, I love the FF, but I just ran out of things to do. I, I just ran out of things. FF. I do want to play it again, but I don't know what I would do if I go back, right? Roleplay though, that's why if I wasn't a streamer or YouTuber, I think I'd play FF. But as a streamer or YouTuber, I need to fuel my content. And I don't think I can just RP and type and smash my PP. I think that you can't do that on any game. Uh, like it, it's always better to like go back and play different games. I think that's kind of normal. Probably worse for content creators because players might gravitate to the content creator. Well, it's also like players, like for example, whenever Final Fantasy is going to come out with a new expansion, everybody's going to want you to start playing Final Fantasy because that's what's got new content. Like that's what's fresh. That's what's new. Whereas like right now, a WoW expansion's coming out. So it's like, okay, well, fuck. I, I want I want to see you play WoW content. I want to see you do WoW stuff. It's like whenever Brelshaza comes out in Lost Ark, people are going to be asking you, why aren't you playing Brelshaza? What are you doing this? Right? He's not you. Well, this is something that happens on Twitch in general. It, it's not something that's it's a me-specific problem. Uh, it's like to the extent that you're playing a game and that you're associated with a game, then people are going to expect and hope that you're going to continue making content about that game whenever new content comes out. I, I don't think that's unreasonable. It's just common sense. Uh, I hate the colors in FF, but I respect. You get used to it. I didn't like it at first, too, but you get used to it. 
We're fine with PvP. Uh, FF content is also bad besides a few community can't make YouTube content. You would ERP 100%. I haven't ERP'd ever, chat. I haven't ERP'd ever because I wanted to try it, but I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Yeah, you've got to do it on an alt yeah. or something like that so people don't know it's you. <laughs> That's the secret. <laughs> no cove. I, I never ERP'd, dude. I'm afraid. Didn't you force me to ERP as well? No, I didn't. That is <laughs> bullshit, dude. <laughs> Afraid to become one with the cat girl. I will say, dude, their cat girl, bunny girl, is they're super hot, man. Yeah. But I know that behind the computer, they are body type one, smashing their PP, man. Yeah. I was not consent. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> no, guys, she's actually really hot in real life too. Okay. Uh. Don't act like you didn't ERP with Steve's in Goldshire Basement. I didn't, man. I have not. I do miss FF chat. I don't hate the game. Don't get the wrong idea. I just ran out of stuff to do. And people always bring up saying, oh, Yoshi P wants you to take breaks from the game. But I think that's a flawed system because if I love a game like I love WoW, I want to stay on that game forever, right? Just never log off and do stuff. FF players, there's a lot of players that want to like stay on and be on it forever, right? They should have a little bit more biscuits to chew on. I just kind of. I think giving players a little bit more content to do in Final Fantasy is okay, but I think also like at a certain point, Final Fantasy becomes WoW. So it's like WoW has a lot of these like endless chase type content, like Mythic Plus, Arena, etc., and like RBGs, raiding. I think. Well, I mean, Final Fantasy has raiding too, but like WoW's raiding is like much more involved. It's like a much bigger percentage of the game. Uh, I would say, just in general, like, sure, yeah, some more of that stuff would be okay. I don't think I don't feel like that would be bad for the game, but it depends on what it is. It's like people don't want to be forced to play the game. Find that biscuit to chew on. And then whenever I bring that up, they're like, "Oh, uh, Yoshi P doesn't want you to play this game forever, so go play different games and come back later." But I don't want to come back later. I want to keep playing and do fun stuff there. I did see them try to add um, Mythic Plus stuff, but I heard the rewards are not that good. So people stopped doing them. I just want something to chew on. If they have something to chew on that I like... Uh, first, they need to get rid of the lag stuff in PvP. There's like delays. I feel like that's the game uh, in general. Like, that's just how the game always has been. I will say that I think the net code and the responsiveness in WoW is unmatched. Like, Final Fantasy is not even remotely as close to as responsive or as good as WoW is in terms of its, like, its snappiness. And, like, that's probably a big reason why the game is good, too. Like, it's a huge reason. Final Fantasy snapshots are so bad. Yeah, they're just bad. And it's like, if you look at the documentary and you look at how bad Final Fantasy 1.0 was for 14 and you compare it to now, it's a massive improvement. So it's like, contextually, combat has improved a lot in Final Fantasy XIV, but again, if you compare it to Lost Ark or WoW, especially WoW, it just does not compare. That's the truth. Yeah, it just simply does not fucking compare. Well, it's objectively good game. Glad they're letting me play it now. I think that, like, WoW has a lot of big positives that a lot of people like, but there's also things that people don't like about the game, too. And it's just, I, I don't see how, like, whenever every expansion comes out, people have to, like, say negative things about the other games, where it's like, well, WoW's coming out with new content, and I want to play the new content. I played WoW for a long time, so I'm excited about it, right? Like, that, that's about it. Like, there's no real, like, this isn't, like, some sort of, like, oh, you know, like, fucking worldview or anything. It's like, oh, it's just this game that comes out, and I'm just going to play that. And, and that's all there is to it. Same as, like, we were playing New World, Never Brimstone Sands came out, etc., so you have to get third-party tools to make some rotations work? Well, I don't know about that for Final Fantasy, but, like, for WoW, I mean, sometimes, yeah, that is an issue. So, yeah, yeah, true, just play all games. Yeah, it's like people are going to rotate around with games in general. I think that the Final Fantasy community, like, I remember seeing this with Rich, too, is that the Final Fantasy community got really angry that Rich, uh, you know, like, he was playing the game. They, they were mad that he wasn't doing the MSQ fast enough. 
um like they, they were mad about like a few other like things like oh he he did ultimates and like the people he did them with were like really good so like rich was able to clear them faster so like they were mad about that it was just uh it, it was just too much man so dumb yeah it's like they, they genuinely thought that rich was scamming them people are actually mad about that yeah yeah no like people people were legitimately upset about rich and the way that he played final fantasy 14 it was so weird you were fucking nutcases people mad whenever you were spreading so much uh spending so much time in the gold saucer yeah I think it's also, I mean, like, it's kind of the, like, classic WoW players get like this, too. It's not like Final Fantasy players are special. Is that, like, they have, they care about the game so much that they get really emotional and angry whenever you don't play the game the way they want you to. Or you don't play the game in a, in a good way, in a, in a fun way, or something like that. Or in a way that they think is fun. Maybe a lot of Final Fantasy players are autistic. Nah, that's stupid. I, I, that's that's just dumb. Uh, watch every cutscene, Madge. Yeah, exactly. Final Fantasy players are exact, exact opposite of New World players. If you hate New World, they love you. Yeah. Uh, MSQ Andy's kept yelling at Rich, and he was stalling, and he was going all the way through MSQ. So, in other words, they don't want you to breathe. Well, I, I think that really it's just that people in every community are going to want you to play their game a certain kind of way. I think that's kind of normal. But I feel like with the response that people had towards Rich, it became so irrational and so weird that it was like just super off-putting. It was like massively fucking off-putting. At least I think it was. It was crazy. You know, more uh, whales and weeb games are more sensitive over others' bad, <laughs> bad financial decisions. Maybe. I don't know. It's the same thing whenever you play Elden Ring, WoW, or New World. There's always people that want you to play the game the same way they did. I think that Dark Souls players do absolutely have this, like, weird thing where it's, like, if you're not playing the game with, like, these weapons, uh, then you're cheating the game. If you don't listen to the, the dialogue, you're cheating the game. It's just, yeah, you only play, uh, you know, with, like, a short sword and a shield. You can't use colossal weapons. You can't use magic. You can't use bleeds. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, it's just weird. So, I don't know. Like, that's every game? I don't think that's true. I don't think you can compare the fixation on playing the game one specific way in Dark Souls to most other single-player games. I think that is so much... Dark Souls is way worse. That's why strict no backseating rules are important in Instant Purge. Yeah, but then people will say that, like, you're... Uh, like your playthrough is illegitimate and it wasn't like a real playthrough because you used a weapon and so it's like do you really want to have people like that like saying shit like that about you yes yeah, summons and magic are cheating exactly that's true that's why uh it's weird send the game they don't want to use it wow community is in a heap of this shit too yeah the wow community is like i remember so like this is a good example um let me go ahead and pull it up right now and uh, this this will just be a minute or two, and uh, then I'll watch something else. Let me see here. Um, fuck, where is this? Where's my gold goes too far? Uh, get gold. Yeah, there we go. Um, this video didn't go to a lot of views, and like a lot of people were really mad about it. And everybody who was mad about it, basically, I I said that GDKP was good. Like, GDKP is a good thing because it's emergent player behavior and people should enjoy and like emergent player behavior. And it's like people are engaging in something that they, they like. And then everybody in the chat or in the comments here were talking about how I actually only, the only reason I like GDKP is because I buy gold and I'm a popular streamer. But like in the entire video, I was talking about what I did in original Wrath of the Lich King in 2010. Like, it had literally nothing to do with being a streamer. Like, it, it, this predated me even being a YouTuber. And I was doing GDKPs. So, it, it's just like people will latch on to something and, and have other morons repeat it over and over and over just for no reason. The stupid jealous losers, yeah, people just react. I know. 
get a right answer and doesn't buy gold, he gets them from people? Well, what I'm saying is that I didn't do either one whenever I did GKPs because I was 20 years old, 21 years old. I couldn't afford to do to buy gold. I would farm the gold myself, or I'd do it in GDKPs, and then I'd build up enough gold and buy something myself. Maybe they're just trolling you? No, I don't think so. I think that it's, uh... uh I, I, I think it's people that genuinely think that. Or genuinely feel that way. <laughs>